Assalamu alaikum and salam sejahtera to all. So for this week, we are going to continue with chapter number 4, Alkine. So mean that compound that contain at least one triple bond. Okay, so for the first part, this is the outline of this topic. So as usual, we have the introduction part, structure and nomenclature, methods of preparations, reactions of alkyne, and also the last part, which is uses of alkyne. So basically, reactions of alkyne is almost the same with uh, carbon double bond which will include the hydrogenation reactions, halogenation reactions, and also the hydrohalogenation reactions. But for the hydration reactions, it will slightly different from the chapter alkene. Okay, so next, okay, for the introduction part, alkyne are hydrocarbon that have at least one triple bond so any compound that contain a triple bond at least one right so it is considered as a alkyne okay as an alkyne sorry so the general formula is cnh2n minus 2 and this one is only applicable for the compound with single triple bond if that compound contains multiple triple bonds, so this general formula is not longer applicable. So for the next one is disubstituted alkyne. Okay, I describe as internal alkyne. So meaning that the triple bond is not located at the carbon number one. So we okay, consider this one carbon number one, so two, three, and four. Okay, so for internal triple bond is not located at the C1. Okay, and then for the mono substituted alkyne, okay, I describe as terminal alkyne. So meaning that your triple bond at the first carbon. Okay, so kalau di hujung, we consider this as a terminal alkyne. For internal alkyne, bila you punya triple bond is located other than carbon number 1. Okay, so for terminal alkyne, untuk reactions nanti, it is subjected to Markovnikov rules. Untuk internal, dia tak subjected kepada Markovnikov rules. Why? Because for C3 and C, sorry, C2 and C3, okay, dua-dua have no hydrogen. Okay, so dia jadi uh, balance, okay, symmetrical. So that's why untuk internal alkyne dia tak ada makan nikov, tapi untuk terminal ada makan nikov. Sebab C1 akan ada one hydrogen, C2 will have no hydrogen. Okay, so this is examples of terminal alkyne. You have ethyne, propyne, butyne. So for your information, kalau um, the questions give you a name of compound without numbering. Okay, for example, propyne instead of uh, macam yang bawah ni letak 2-butyne. So, kalau dia letak 2-butyne, meaning that the triple bond located at the carbon number 2. Kalau dia letak propyne, so means that double bond awak pada carbon pertama. So, kalau tak letak 1-butyne pun, is okay. Just put butyne, so it is understood triple bond at the first carbon. Okay. So next, uh, it, it is a nomenclature. So as usual, we have the four basic rule. So just uh, a bit modifications. Okay, for this chapter. So for example, untuk you punya parent chain, the longest carbon chain. So before this, you belajar must include the double bond. So since right now you have a triple bond, so your Parent chain must include the C triple bond C. So the next one, C triple bond C must must be at the lowest carbon number. And then you have to locate and name your substituents. And the last part is arranged according to alphabetical order. So next, for the nomenclature, it is uh, subdivided into three, which is the basic alkyne. Means that that compound only contain alkyne group with the substituents. 
Okay, the next one we have alkenines. So alkenines means that you either double bond, then you got your either triple bond. EN stand for double bond, Y and E stand for triple bond. Okay, and the last one we have akino. So as usual, okay, before this you either alkinos. So it's about the double bond. So for this one, since triple bond, so alkinos. You have double, sorry, triple bond and the alcohol group or the hydroxyl group. Okay, so for the basic alkyne, as usual, you have a triple bond. Okay, so first thing, you're going to try it with longest continuous. So this is the longest. One, two. Second one, you have to do your numbering. So they must be lowest by the triple bond. So one, two or one, two is either way. You can have carbon yang sama. So tak kisah. And then number two, locate and name your substituent. So tiada. So you boleh abaikan. And then number four, you can susun ikut alphabetical order. Pun tak perlu sebab tak ada branch. So this one, since longest it adalah two carbons. So dia jadi ethyne. For the second one, okay, your longest carbon chain is four. One, two, three, four. So your triple bond is located at the carbon number two. So from left to right, you will get carbon number two. Kalau ada pada kanan ke kiri pun, you still akan dapat carbon number two. So step number three, you boleh abaikan because there is no branch. Step number four pun you boleh abaikan sebab tak ada branch. So you boleh name this compound as two butyne ataupun but two ine. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, next for the example here. Okay, so kenapa kita start numbering from the left? Okay, because triple bond must be at the lowest carbon number. If you start from here, you're going to put 1, 2, 3, 4. So, that can jadi by the carbon number uh, 4. Okay, kalau you start from uh, kiri ni, you're going to put by the carbon number so this one is much more lower so uh, next we look at and name our branch so you have six bromo and also six uh, methyl so number four you can follow alphabetical order so six bromo dulu and then baru six methyl so jawapannya akan jadi six bromo six methyl three heptine ataupun yang bawah ni pun no problem boleh alright so next one, I give you some examples. Okay. So for example, this structure. So the first step, you can try it longest continuous carbon. So your longest continuous carbon must include your triple point. Okay, ini kena ada. Okay. So ingat eh. Carbon pada triple point, kedua-dua kena ada dalam you punya longest carbon chain. So, obviously, this is your longest. Even though, kalau you start daripada sini, okay. Okay, this one, yang warna kuning ni. You akan dapat 6 carbon. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Instead of yang warna biru, you dapat 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sahaja. Tapi kenapa kita tak boleh pilih yang kuning? Sebab dia sebab yang color kuning tu dia tak include kedua-dua carbon pada triple bond. So, syarat dia longest continuous carbon chain and must include the C, triple bond C. So, next thing, you can about apa? Numbering. So, lowest by the triple bond. So, mean that means that, kena start daripada bawah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, seterusnya, number 3 is locate and name your substituents. So, you either for chloro and then you have to isopropyl. So, number 4, you can susun ikut alphabetical order. So, you have C dengan I. So, means that dia akan jadi 4 chloro 2 isopropyl. 
Okay, and then your triple bond pada carbon pertama. Nak letak number boleh, tak nak pun tak apa. So, dia boleh jadi pentine. Okay, ingat eh, tukar belakang ni daripada A and E jadi Y and E because you have a triple bond. Okay. So, next one you have alkenines. Okay, alkenines ni adalah compound that contain double and triple bond. So, for the alkenines, okay, you punya first step still sama. You can cari you punya longest continuous carbon chain. But since you punya compound ada double bond and triple bond, so dalam longest continuous carbon chain ni kena include C double bond C dan juga kena include C triple bond C. Okay. So second one adalah numbering. So untuk numbering, there is no specific rules. Okay. Uh, whether you have to put the double point paling lowest ataupun you have to consider triple point as the lowest carbon number. So, it depends on the structure. Okay, sometimes your double point at the lowest carbon number. Sometimes you put your triple point yang akan berada pada lowest carbon number. Okay, so uh, the third one macam biasa name and locate your substituents. Okay, and number four as usual you can know alphabetical order. For this example, okay, you punya longest continuous carbon chain, obviously, and this one, the straight one. Okay, so, kita number uh, this carbon as the first carbon since this numbering akan bagi you lowest carbon number untuk double point dan juga untuk triple point. Okay, so, kita check dulu which one yang boleh bagi you lowest carbon number. Whether your double bond ataupun your triple bond. Kalau your triple bond pun boleh bagi you lowest carbon number and then we uh, we have to check your branch pula. So for this case, double bond lebih rendah. So kita akan start number ini kat hujung ni. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you ada satu branch pada carbon number 2. So tak ada branch lain. So dia akan jadi 2 methyl. Okay. So, longest carbon chain adalah 5. So, jadi pen. Okay, pen. You nak letak pentin boleh. You nak letak pen dulu pun tak apa. Kita ikut nama ni. So, kita start dengan ALK. So, which is you punya longest adalah 5. And then, kita masukkan you punya double bond. So, sekarang ni double bond you berada pada carbon pertama. So, 1 EN. And next one, kita ada Y and E which is you punya triple point. So, triple point awak berada pada location carbon number 3. So, baru letak 3 and then Y and E. Follow je this one. ALK for you punya longest carbon chain. Okay, EN for your double point. K1 okay, E and E. Y and E ni is for your triple point. So, dia akan jadi 3 Y and E. Kenapa 3? Sebab location carbon number 3. So, this is the name of your structure. For the example, we will continue with the next video. So, thank you guys.